As seniors continue to deal with long term isolation, uh, the CSI Office on Aging has set up a friendly callers program to provide a social outlet for residents who uh, you might be feeling a little bit lonely. It's a great idea. Idaho News 6 reporter Alex Grant has more on how seniors benefit from the program. The Office on Aging has been busy throughout the pandemic attempting to connect senior citizens with whatever they need. One common theme with seniors is how much of an effect the pandemic is having on their mental health. To be so isolated, home and alone, um, isolated is just a scary thing. And to never have a conversation. The Friendly Callers program currently has two volunteers and nearly 50 residents utilizing the program. Despite the small workforce, they are doing their best to provide a social outlet. A lot of it is just conversations about you know, how are you doing, tell me about yourself, you know, things like that that may be of interest to the participant. So it, it really, friendly calling really is that term. We want them to feel like they have a friend there for them. While the focus is to provide a form of socialization, the program can be beneficial to users in other ways as well. I also would like someone to come in and help cook, say for dinner or you know, fix a little breakfast or something. And with that information relayed back, we could then you know, go back and say, here are some resources. Even though our office may not provide a specific service for that, we at least have connections with other services. The staff say they feel rewarded by having the chance to be there for another individual. I've been able to make some of the calls and, and visit with some of the participants and there's just such an a, appreciation to know that there is someone else out there who is aware of them, who cares for them, and they're not alone. Since the program is still finding its footing, the office is looking for more volunteers to help assist in making calls. In Twin Falls, I'm Alex Grant, Idaho News 6.